than and the house. No, it's old people because of the car. The old Lincoln. Or, yeah, Lincoln or Grand Marquis. And usually if it's a Grand Marquis, that means he's a retired cop, because that's all they're used to driving. Because they can't drive anything else. That's right. Their they, asses hurt. They would crash that shit. Big garage, camper. Camper. Next to it, detached garage. And a Ford pickup. Motorhome. There is another Ford pickup <laughs> in the back. Now, so now this one, this one's got the motorhome, the trailer, the rack body pickup, the garage, the Mustang, the Camaro, the Chevelle, yeah. and a blue dog that looks like he just wants to eat our fucking ass. He wants to eat our ass. And now this one, and it's the strangest mix of dogs. Nobody can just have one kind of dog. Look at these fucking dogs. These are little dogs. These are gappers. Fluffy eared, nasty bad. I can't believe this dog had been jumped over the fence to eat those dogs. Oh, they have a garage to go with their garage in the back. Right. Garage in the back. To go with their garage, the garage on the in side. The back. <laughs> he has three garages and a camper. His old truck is probably inside the garage. I think he's got old trucks back here. We'll look, look at these two vicious beasts. Oh, oh. vicious dogs. <laughs> Welcome to Mayberry, motherfucker. Okay, now we've got a house. It's got an eclectic group of old vehicles. At least this guy's got a boat. He's got a boat and a trailer. Now, in my infinite real estate knowledge, walking past this next home, I said, is this person crazy? Turns out I was accurate. This fucker's nuts. Wow, look at the pictures. Look how well, Corvette, look how good this guy's garage is decorated. It's and nicer than my living room. You know, and Santa Claus still comes here, so we have to put up the fake chimneys. Is that chimney fake, that, that red one? That is a fake chimney, that's not a real one. It's through the roof and everything. Yeah, no, it's just sitting on top. All right, now this, this motherfucker's crazy. They got a naked lady fountain. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> look at the boobs. I, that's why it drew my attention to her luscious breastesses. <laughs> now this fucker, you can tell he's crazy. You know there's there's bodies in this fucking house. Somewhere, and if this guy's got a backhoe, there's bodies. Look at his chairs in his backyard that are set perfectly in the corner for comfort and viewing, but they're completely covered in weeds. <laughs> and you got a tree house, I bet you that's where the bodies are. Mustang too. You can't even find these things because everybody's cut them apart for hot rods. Another old fucking Ford. This thing's still got plates on it. And look at this Ford. Uh, like an old railroad truck. With a camper? With a camper. A slide a camper into the railroad truck for the Chinese railroad workers to live in. Well, it's it's it sometimes it snows a lot here, so we have to have a vehicle that will get it through the snow. That would do it. And this Ford here, it's like he pieced this together from all the neighbors in the other neighborhood. <laughs> With all the other Ford trucks. With all the other Ford trucks. Every house has a 1960s or 70s Ford pickup. This guy's got two. Look at There's a blue one and a green one. There's one in the driveway. But that looks like it's Chevy. No, that's a Ford, Ford in the driveway, Ford. too. He's got three. This fucker's got three. I only have one. Right here, we have the crane. I mean, if you can't have a Kenworth crane, what's the sense of living? You know. We can haul stuff out. It's still run. And we got the 24-hour tow truck. Just so you know how batshit crazy it is, look inside the operator's compartment. Look at the flowers. Oh, look at the flowers. Are there There's a right potted there? plant inside of it. Potted plant in there. And what we have here is 24-hour towing. And what really the mystery is, is one day this guy came home from work, parked this truck, and was no longer 24-hour towing. It was, I'm never going to work again towing. And it's just sitting there. Another fucking Ford. Canned hams. Yeah, look at the canned ham sitting there. People go eight that. And look at all the what? Fords. It's an entire neighborhood of Fords. <laughs> campers in an old truck. Who would have guessed? Uh-oh. Federal agent. Federal agent. This is going to be a guaranteed another mismatch of mismatched dogs. They're mean. Hey, look. An 
old Ford truck. And a camera. Yeah, a little milking example, but look at this motor. Look at that old Ford motor. Wait, have you seen an old Ford like that? I don't know what I ever have, actually. What do you do with the wagon? into a brick wall. He didn't only want to have a car. He an old car with him back that, there. That, that, that's that little California. <laughs> no, I don't, no, it's not an opal. It's, um, oh, it's, it's a douche. A midget. It's, um, uh, MG midget. No, no, no. no? Look, that little fucking pickle. That one's here. Um, it's a Nash. A Nash? Yeah, that's a Nash. That's worth a that lot of money. It could be a Nash. It's a Nash. We got a beautiful camper here. Hey, look. An old camper. What are the odds? They like bears. It's a bear. It's a bear. That's the go with the Coco Pelly camper. Yeah. The Coco Pelly camper. And an old truck. And a javelin right behind you. And, and a popcorn machine. Because you just never know. You never know when you want popcorn. Yeah. With an old wagon on it. Well, and I like basically what they've done with all the stolen satellite dishes. Yeah, they just pile them right there. Yeah, just pile them up. And we got a there was something else. What's behind the javelin? A Falcon convertible. No. Ford Falcon convertible. Ford Falcon convertible that is completely overgrown with wood. Right. Right Holy behind a 70 shit. SST javelin. Oh my god. Now we have Larry and Liz's. And wait, another camper. Oh, it's a toy hauler with the shit in the front. Yeah. Right. And uh, another house with garage, camper. camper, another garage. What's under the car cover? What is that car? Lincoln. Oh. The Lincoln. Well, of course. Yeah, I think my favorite vehicle of this entire place is the Right Reverend Holy Father. Hallelujah. With his pedophile wagon. Guarantee he got the church to pay for that. He stole that out of the collection plate 30 years ago. That is the old wagon. Oh, that is a Malibu wagon. Oh, and oh, the pièce de résistance. Fifty-five Chevy pickup, thirty-five thousand original miles. Just sitting. What's he got under the other covers back there? Jet skis. That ain't no fucking jet ski. That's a, what no, look under? inside one of the other, other, other garages. <laughs> is it a Model A? Son of a bitch. And this is two blocks. This is two blocks in Mayberry, Colorado. Sure. Oh, and if it's not fucked up enough, if you just look at those trees right there, there is a fully functioning drive-in movie theater. Three screens movie theater. And on Sunday night at 11.30, they were playing movies. We drove by it. A functioning drive-in movie theater. Where do you find that in America? Mayberry. I think so. Right, I think Barney? right here. I think so, Barney. Right. This is a beautiful neighborhood. Just back from Sturgis. On my way home to see my beautiful wife with an amazing ass. And uh, I said, I'm going to stop and see my friend Larry who's turning the motorcycle world on its ass. He turns it on its ass so he can bang it from behind because he's a sick bastard. I, I like it. I like it back there. Hey, you know, what the fuck? <laughs> so, Larry's raked magazine is blowing up. And uh, last night we sat down and talked about the rallies he's got coming up, where he's going with the magazine, what the future holds, and the future's looking pretty bright for this guy. So keep watching the shit that he does before he goes to prison. And uh, support Larry. Because Larry supports you. That's right. Come out, see our rallies. Show your tits. Oh, I love seeing the tits. And support all colored panties lives matter. We didn't have red ones, but we'll find some. Red lives, they don't matter. Red lives? They don't matter. Some, well, some do. <laughs> if we all cut ourselves, wouldn't we all bleed red? Red is the head of the dick of the dog. Oh, well, it could as, be as the my, dog. As my grandmother used to say before <laughs> church, red is the head of the dick of the dog. And then they had a, a highball. <laughs> oh, the drink. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah Have you ever, ever heard anybody in the last 20 years walk in and say, give me a highball? No. We right? were just, we the were just on the front and lawn. How did the highball die? I don't know how it died. I think we need to revive it. I don't, is it whiskey? What about a gimlet? 
I've heard people order gimlets, rarely. Well, we were sitting on the lawn drinking gimlets the other day. Okay. You know, gimlets were the, the thing. But eyeballs, I think we should bring them back. Because all it is is... Seagram seven and seven. Seven and seven. Seven and seven. That's not a highball. Seven and seven is a seven and seven. Well, what is a highball? I just asked the same question. I don't have any idea. These, dogs, that up. these dogs want to kill us. Do you know when you have to have your razor up and go in like a prison? You've got aggressive dogs. Yeah. The problem is they left a 16-foot section without the razor ribbon in it. And it's open. So they can get to us. Yeah. They might kill them. Yeah. They haven't the realized garage. Hey, look, the garage that's bigger than the house. What are they doing? Look, everybody has a vicious dog. Another dog. Look, another vicious dog. That's a baby. That's not a baby, that's a boxer. Um, in the back, know. they have uh, here. Ducks? Ducks. Um, we, we, passed, wanted, we, we wanted Jack to stand the, here. We passed the Mexican cat who had eight goats on his, giant goats like the size of horses on his front lawn. We made a right turn. We got to the fucking llama farm. Because, you know. You got to have llama. Yeah. If you own a goat. Into a trash can here. So it is full of beer bottles. Oh, they just hang in the pine tree? Yeah, and then when he drives his tractor, riding tractor, we fight over out. it. The bottles fall out. And then he, and he tells me, Larry, pick up that bottle, throw it in the trash. So you know what Larry does? Throws it from across the thing right, right back, back into the bush. Into the bush. <laughs> <laughs> so whose playhouse is it? It's the next door neighbor's. So that's that house. Yeah. So that camper and trailer are theirs. Yeah. Now, it's, it's incredible. incredible. You want to see the Easter egg chicken? What do you call this stuff again? I guess it's grass. Grass, that's right. Yeah. You don't see much of this in Arizona. No. No, just basically sand. So now we're going to the chickens. Let me see where the dogs are. Let me see where the dogs are. You go do the chicken. That blind dog is going to attack me. I never, I've never met a dog or a kid that doesn't like you. But that oh, that blind dog eat. won't hurt you. He won't hurt you. He just They're all inside. Okay. Look at this escape route. He's almost done. He's almost out. Oh, yeah. These are the Easter egg chickens. Well, some are. Some are. What, what's the difference, Jim? They get more colorful. What, what's the ones that do color? Coming and staying with us. Wish you could stay longer because we would go all over the country. Are you digging a pool? Where are you heading now? No, that's a pond. <laughs> <laughs> Mom wanted a pool when I was seven. He's got an oil rig in the backyard. No, that's a windmill. That's a windmill. No. How no, could it that's possibly to lift be his well out. Oh. Oh, is it as well? That's to lift the well pump out. Oh. That guy's got fucking everything. Nice. Dude, that's the well. Mama needs a pond. Oh, wait. What is that? Is that a riding lawnmower? Pond number five. Yeah. Going down on Mandy. Up on Cripple Creek. I don't know. Well, we could, I haven't written the song yet. We could do a sheep take. <laughs> you could do a sheep take. <laughs> I do goats. That's been a good visit. I'm glad I came. Huevos Rancheros with Italian people. Uso's restaurant was awesome. I got cookies. Who goes for breakfast and leaves with cookies? Who goes for breakfast and...